Hello dear students, let's study the fourth example of oxidation. It is the heating copper powder in a china dish. In your textbook if you see it is activity 1.11. What does this activity say? Heat a china dish containing about 1 gram of copper powder and record your observations. We observe that the surface of copper powder become coated with something. You know what is what does it coated with? Let us open the yes. When we heat a china dish containing about the one gram of copper, this copper is found coated with black copper to oxides. So when we heat a copper, copper turns into black colored copper to oxide. This is because oxygen is added to copper and copper to oxide which is a black colored is formed. You can see the reaction. Copper solid from the air oxygen mixes with it and we get black colored copper to oxide. This is again an, 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 an oxidation reaction or it is an addition of oxygen. You know we heat here so we can say it is an endothermic reaction not an exothermic reaction but still it is a combination reaction you can easily understand. Now look at this you know CuO which is known as copper 2 oxide which is also called cupric oxide. Where it's Cu twice O which is known as copper 1 oxide or it is also known as cuprous oxide. This is for your information. Please try to remember. Oxygen is added to sodium metal. When sodium metal reacts with oxygen, it is oxidized to disodium oxide that is what it is known as Na twice O. So 4 Na solid plus O2 gas that gives 2 Na2O. You can see here that oxygen gas is added into the sodium metal. So it is an oxidation of sodium metal into the sodium oxide. Now we should study about the next type of reaction which is known as the reduction reaction. Let us see what is reduction reaction. Chemical reaction in which oxygen is removed or hydrogen is added, such reaction is known as reduction reaction. Please remember my dear students that chemical reaction in which oxygen is removed or hydrogen is added such reaction is called reduction reaction. In reduction reaction either oxygen is removed or hydrogen is added. Let us study the reduction reaction with some of the examples. So first we shall study about the reduction reaction in which oxygen is removed. Mercuric oxide HgO when heated it gives mercury metal and oxygen gas. Here from mercury oxygen is removed so mercury is reduced. You can see 2 HgO solid when heated it gives us 2 Hg liquid that is mercury in liquid form and oxygen gas is removed. So this is the kind of reaction which is a reduction reaction. You can e easily see here this is the decomposition reaction. You can see that heat is required for this reaction so it is also known as the endothermic reaction. Then we have the next kind of reduction reaction which is known as the hydrogenation of oils. You know oils which contains R1 and R2 the long carbon chain bonded with carbon 1 and R3 and R4 the long carbon chain bonded with carbon 2. When added to hydrogen gas they give vegetable ghee 
which is also known as margarine or the brand name is dalda this is a reduction process or this is a reduction reaction you can remember it my dear students that when there is a double bond between carbon if we add hydrogen in the presence of nickel metal these vegetable oils are converted to vegetable ghee both these hydrogen atoms are bonded to each carbon you can see them easily which is also known as margarine or dalda and as during this process hydrogen is hydrogen is added it can be considered as a reduction of vegetable oil we also call it hydrogenation of vegetable oils but it's a reduction reaction i hope my dear students you are enjoying your studies happy learning